What is going on guys? Kevin Clutch here and today I am back with some Nazi zombies. We are finishing off this game that we started about a week ago. And you know I'm liking this this whole setup of playing Nazi zombies or survival mode once and then uploading the games one after another in other commentaries. Uh, what do you guys think? I want to know what you guys think about this. I could do this anytime or I could do live commentaries or just upload highlights of or maybe the last few rounds of a game. So let me know what you guys think. But uh, I don't have much time because there's not much video left in this game. So I'll try to make this quick. Uh, today's St. Patrick's Day. And if you're Irish, then great because it's really an Irish holiday. It's it's kind of known worldwide as a <laughs> as an Irish holiday. Uh, if you're not Irish, I guess it's okay. Everyone's Irish on St. Patrick's Day, and that rhymed. That was awesome. Uh, <laughs> I I'm Irish, but I really don't care about St. Patrick's Day too much. It's it's not that great. I mean, really around me, all all it is is just you get to go to a parade if it's on the weekend, but most of the time it's during the week, and we don't even get off of school. Which I see why, because I mean, if you're not even Irish, then it doesn't really matter. But I hate parades, and parades are really the biggest thing about this holiday. Uh, I mean, I live close to the city, like New York City. So if I really wanted to, I could just go ahead and see the big, the big show, the big parade in the middle of New York City. But I really don't care. I hate parades. I mean, actually... I, I think I would I would enjoy a victory parade if the New York Jets went to the Super Bowl, but, you know, that's obviously not going to happen anytime soon. Uh, hopefully, we'll get some good players and make it to the Super Bowl. But I don't know how I got from St. Patrick's Day to the Super Bowl and the New York Jets never making it, which is sad, but it's completely true, like the, like the Metallica song. Uh, yeah, I'm going to probably just eat corned beef and cabbage today. Uh, maybe not cabbage, just corned beef. That is, corned beef is awesome. But, uh, oh yeah, also, I uploaded my, uh, what was it? I forget what exactly I called it. Uh, it was a trailer for a montage, and I don't know how many of you guys took it seriously, but that one shot, if you see the guy's not even playing, and that kind of hints to what the montage is going to be about. I was actually playing yesterday with some of my friends, and just out of nowhere, when I was playing, I was sniping, and I'm like, you know what? I think it'd be a pretty cool idea just to to make a montage of a terrible sniper shot and just send it into like phase and optic, you know, just just for uh, lols because I I don't like phase. I, I went through a I went through a phase, not not the phase, uh, yeah, whatever. You guys know what I mean. I went through a phase in Modern Warfare 2 I, where I actually tried to the trick shot because some of my friends were doing that and I was most of the time kind of like the dummy because if you guys don't know I mean there I guess there is some exceptions to the rule where there's these amazing trick shotters that can go out into a public match and just get these amazing shots in one try but for the most part those those trick shotting montages you guys see are just the highlights of probably a few hours of doing the same exact trick over and over again because for the most part, you can't really aim that well and spin around, take out a claymore, try to change your gun like three different times in the 360, and then silent shot a guy. I mean, it's not it's not that it's not that possible, I guess. And uh, if you go into Modern Warfare 2 nowadays, that's really all it is just a bunch of trick shotters just trying to uh, emulate or is it emulator? I'll just say imitate because I know that's right. Uh, try to imitate FaZe. So I'm sorry if you guys are trick shotters, but I just hate them. I absolutely hate them so much because I love Search and Destroy. And if you've seen my last video uh, about the real commentator, March Madness, about my, my gaming history and everything, I played Search and Destroy back in Modern Warfare 2 a lot. And to me, it kind of killed, killed the whole Search and Destroy train when... Trick shotters just all of a sudden started coming in. Like I enjoy montages, but more of the montages with amazing kill feeds or snipers running around and have 100% perfect accuracy and like a domination demolition inside the other team's spawn and just able to go on these amazing tears. Like that's what I like, and 
I mean, I, I'm not too bad at editing. Maybe I never really showed my editing skills, I guess. But I do have a really kind of like neat freak-esque quality to me that uh, I guess you could say OCD, but it's not actually OCD. But uh, I just feel like when I'm making something like a montage, it has to be perfect, and I have to go through every frame to make sure everything's perfect, and that's why when I try to edit some random clips just to test out stuff in uh, After Effects, I it always seems to look good to me at least, and I remember I uploaded a whole like tutorial on how to use Twixter and everything, but I'm not good at getting tr uh, any footage for montages, so that's the problem. If I was to make a community montage where a bunch of people sent in clips to me, then that'd be a little bit different, but I just, I just can't do it. I can't go for a while playing at least. I, I could probably do it for Modern Warfare 2. Like, it really takes a long time for me to get these clips, and I can't go in Modern Warfare 3 for a few hours straight just trying to get clips, because I will go insane, and if I lose it in theater mode, or maybe just I don't record a part, I will be really mad and probably not upload for a pretty long time because I'll just be raging and not want to do anything else. So that that is really my my montage history. I, I guess I really got off topic in this commentary. But it's it's wrapping up. Here's my last round. I kinda get stuck and you guys will see that there's a surprise at the end that I could have got a nuke. Uh, I guess it's not really a surprise anymore. Man, I'm a spoiler. <laughs> I uh I get a nuke at the end and I could have won. Well, not won. You can't really win zombies. Well, there's actually some custom maps that you can win. But I I could have kept going, but sadly I didn't get the nuke in time. But uh, that's really it, guys. Hope you enjoyed the video. Hope you guys have a really awesome St. Patrick's Day. And like I said, if you're Irish, great. If you're not, that's also fine too. But St. Patrick's Day isn't the biggest holiday ever. I actually want to go look up the history of St. Patrick's Day. Because I know there was a St. Patrick, but I don't understand how it became such a big holiday in America, but I will see you guys later. Rate the video if you enjoyed, subscribe, and yeah, like I said, I'll see you guys later. Goodbye.